Hi, what's up guys? I'm Shoykot and this is Tech Gadgets. If you are a Windows 10 user, you know that there are PowerShell and CMD available in Windows 10. So if you want to open a command prompt from a specific folder in Windows 10, you know that they will just give you the option of opening PowerShell. No command prompt option will be there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your PowerShell with CMD in Windows 10. So let's go. First of all, you have to go to run, then type R E G E D I T and then hit enter. After hitting enter, you will see the registry editor. Then go to edit, then find, and then in the box type PowerShell. And also, don't forget to select only keys and then hit on find next. That's it. And you can see that CMD and PowerShell is available there now right click on PowerShell and select permission and in the permission go to advance and you can see that the owner is trusted installer click on change and then also click on advance and then find new and then search for PC name or the system administrator name whatever you given to your PC so here I have and then click on OK and then again ok and then select the option of replace owner on sub containers and object and then go to add and select a principal and then advance and then find now and then again search for your pc name or the administrator name and then click on ok and then click on full control then ok and then select the option replace all child object blah 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 and then ok that's it and yes that's it we are done and now delete the powershell that's it and now let's right click on cmd and do the same process And then under CMD you can see option called hide based on velocity ID so you have to rename it rename it show based on velocity ID just you have to remove the height and type show and that's it we're done and now you have to do the whole process for the all the available PowerShell in the registry editor that's it And now let's go to C and then shift right click and you can see that open command window here. It is replaced by PowerShell and that's it. So as always thanks for watching this video guys. If you guys like this video give this video thumbs up, do comments, do share this video and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button down there and I'm sure because signing up for today we'll be back with a new video soon. Till then goodbye.